Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to the Second Korean War. We are going to wrap up today, at least if nothing unexpected happens. Last episode, we pushed through with, well, I'm not even going to try and list all of these units. It's a multinational super task force with helicopters, ground forces, airplanes, tanks, everything. And we sent whatever survived this particular area running. All of these battle groups are A, running, and B, they don't have a command unit, nor a FOB. The only thing I need to be worried about are these helicopters, the attack squadron. MI-4 AVs, MI-26 for resupply, four recon helicopters, MI-28s, and MI-24 PN. That's all. Now, I don't have any units that can actually go there right now. So I'm going to have to end the turn and hit him next episode. And last this happens. Oh. Oh, really? We have the 37th Fighter Wing and a squadron of F-15s. I wouldn't be surprised if those are no longer F-15s. What do we have? US Air Force, the Vampires, F-15C plus Eagle, four AMRAMs and four AM-9X. And the Night Stalkers, with two laser-guided bombs, exceptional stealth, really slow, 750. Um, see, I could just cheese it and send one group of paratroopers over here and take the area. I'm not going to do that to you. We're first going to deal with Jonchon. That's where the Chinese are coming back. With a couple of Bachongzus, Yokwid Day, and they're going up against pretty hardened veterans by now. So this is going to be a swift kicking and sending them back to China. Now deploy command units. Uh, do I have any standards? Yep, there. One, two, three. Oh, I'm not really hoping on deploying that many. One, two, three. There's another command unit here. Deploy a fob there, although I really don't think I need it. Deploy the leopard ones. No, sorry, two A5s first. Uh, a recon helicopter to guide them in. And a couple of looks. I mean, these are the Germans after all. So we might as well use some more German units. And deploy. This is going to be a pretty swift operation. Kill their command unit, that one and that one, and you're done. We could have this done under one minute. Yep, got one. They're crossing the river, there's the other one. YW701. Oh, it is on the run, and this bridge is blocking line of sight. I'm not really sure if I can do this inside one minute. How is your RPG? 25 AP? That's quite a bit of firepower. Maybe the looks can catch it. Yep, they got it. It's taking a fair beating. And with three seconds left on the clock, we got it inside of one minute. Okay. Get out of this sector. Go back to China. Now apparently they're also hitting me in Sonchon with two spogs. You will fight very bravely and die very quickly. Goodbye. Then kill Ju, where we have another very, very brave helicopter group with MA twenty eights and MA twenty four PN. Uh, these guys are quite threatening in an air-to-ground role. They start out in Chongjin. And I don't really... I'm not even going to try and list all the aircraft that I have. I'm going to use these, which I'm still not quite sure if you're supposed to refer to them as Celtics or Celtics. Uh, the Tiger Haps can work. The Cougars can work. Super Cobras can work. Um, and I think that might be a little bit easier to work with than sending in a bunch of aircraft. 
Although Harriers might be fairly useful. Where are my Harriers? I can swear... Yeah, here we are. Short range air-to-air -air missile. Oh. Uh, yeah, never mind. I just need to have one helicopter group that I'm not going to be using. No. Yeah, go to Chongjin. Don't engage yet. Yeah, you can't because you don't have a command. Oh, we can actually send another unit with them. Okay, Marines. Off you go. Now, kill you. Fuck it, I'm gonna f th just throw in everything. Everybody who's mobile, you're going out. I don't care if you're air to air, air to ground, seed, whatever. F 111Gs, for all I care. Because this is going to be the last battle. This is just a joke. Uh, yes, I can send in the paratroopers. But I'm not going to use them anyway. Okay, killed you. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> we have you surrounded. <laughs> Look at this. Just... What are you hoping to do? What are you hoping to do. Because we have you surrounded doesn't quite cover it in this situation. What's the total value of my forces here, you think? 20k? 30k? 38,000 versus 2,000. Oh! And because we sent in everything, we have taken away their command zone. So they only have Echo. Oh. In that case, I'm just going to deploy a couple of AA weapons here. And we're going to shoot everything down. Let's see how many AA weapons I can field. Um, I'll take my CV here. I'm not even sure I'm going to need a fob. It's just going to be one big thing that's getting shot at. Uh, what do we have? Krotal, Patriot, K263, Closed Arrow, Short Arrow. We know that they're all going to start out here. We know that they don't have a lot of range. And we know that they don't have a ton of helicopters either. Uh, short Arrows have better range against Helos. Unfortunately, I don't have too many. Let's deploy command infantry unit here. Just to be safe. Safer. I have a couple of paratrooper sky guards defend this place. I'm going to have a couple of AA weapons over here. Uh, might as well be the closed arrows. And I'm going to have a couple of closed arrows here. <coughs> And I want to have all my Harriers. Still leaves me with 200 points. Fine. Uh, elites. To call this a slaughter would be an understatement, I'm afraid. Okay, we're going to switch it to bullet time again because I have to offload stuff. Otherwise it won't even fire because the AI will always fire faster. Come on. Yes? No? Yes. <sighs> the game is still deploying these units. Drop off. Drop off. What do we have? Alright. I'm thinking they're still going through the takeoff animation. Yeah, like hell you are. Oh wow, at short range, those things are pretty damn lethal. Plus 100, that's a command unit. I'm even taking losses here. And dead. That battle lasted 7 seconds. <laughs> and that still took 135 points in losses. Oh, really? Okay. Chongjin. 
GG. Sort of. Bye. Okay, captured. Total victory! I could have done this a bunch of episodes ago. But again, not really necessary. Uh, I found this to be more interesting. Now, the question is, what campaign is going to be next? And I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm going to post comments for the various campaigns down below. Upvote the comment of your campaign of your choosing. I know that there's going to be a large amount of people who apparently don't get to read this for some reason. They don't um, get to this part of the video. People just posting randomly uh, do this campaign next. I'm going to ignore those. I'm going to make it a poll. I'm going to make it a vote. So pick the campaign that should be next. And keep in mind, I'll be doing it on 2.45. So it's going to be uh, the upgraded version of the game. Anyway, that was it for the Second Korean War. Uh, mostly used Ash and Shadows 2.43. Really enjoyed it. Initially, you feel a little overwhelmed with the amount of forces that they're throwing at you. And normally, the especially the battle on the right flank goes a lot worse. Because now I had tanks that were so far superior to their forces that they really didn't stand a chance. They really did not have anything on me as far as firepower, because I had those K2 pips. Overall, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. And judging by the number of views, and the very positive comments, you guys really did. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you soon for the first episode of whatever campaign I end up playing. I'll leave that up to you. Thank you for watching. See you soon.